Private Internet Access, also known as PIA, has been around since 2010, and it's one of the most established VPNs on the market. Now, it might not be the flashiest of VPNs, but it does stand out in a few ways that might be important to you. For one, it's fully open source, so anyone can inspect PIA's code. And two, it's one of the most affordable VPN options. Especially if you go with a long-term plan, you can get the monthly price down to just a couple bucks. In this video, we'll cover the ins and outs of PIA, its security, its performance, as well as the user experience to help you decide whether or not private internet access is the right VPN for you. How does private internet access protect your privacy? PIA hides your real IP address and encrypts your data using protocols like OpenVPN and WireGuard so that your internet service provider, advertisers, and hackers can't see what you're doing online. Also, PIA has a strict no logs policy, meaning that it doesn't keep records of your activity. However, it's worth noting that PIA is based in the United States, which means that it's subject to US surveillance laws. Because of that, some folks might feel more comfortable going with a VPN that's based in a more privacy-friendly location. What security features does private internet access have? In addition to selecting which VPN protocol you want to use, PIA has a built-in kill switch, which automatically blocks your internet connection if the VPN disconnects so that no data is leaked. PIA also has split tunneling, which allows you to choose which apps use the VPN and which apps don't. Where can you connect to with private internet access? PIA currently has servers in 91 countries, and while that's fewer than some competitors like NordVPN, it still covers most of the popular server locations that people actually use worldwide. Additionally, PIA has servers in every U.S. state, which is great if you need a specific server location within the United States. What's the user experience like with private internet access? PIA has apps for all your devices, including Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, and more. Looking specifically at the Android app, you can easily connect with one tap, you can check out the different servers that are available, and of course you can change settings. It's definitely not as flashy as some of the other VPN apps out there like from NordVPN or from Surfshark. For example, on the main screen there aren't any cool animations, it's basically just a connection button that changes colors based on your connection status and then details about your connection. But what's likely more important for most users than the look of the app is how quickly you're able to connect with those VPN servers. And in our experience, PIA was really quick with its connection. Basically, you tap connect on whatever server you're looking for, and within a few seconds, we were connected and ready to go. Can you stream with private internet access? PIA has streaming optimized servers in 11 countries, so as long as you select one of those servers, you should be able to stream. For example, when we connected to the Japan streaming optimized server, we were able to stream Netflix, no problem. So PIA can definitely help you bypass content geo restrictions. How fast is private internet access? Here are the results of our tests using a Pixel 7a on a Verizon Fios network. At the time of our testing, our baseline speed without being connected to a VPN was 243 megabits per second download and 66.8 megabits per second upload. When connected to a PIA server in New York, we were able to get a download speed of 133 megabits per second and an upload speed of 52.2 megabits per second. When connected to a PIA server in Canada, we were able to get a download speed of 126 megabits per second and an upload speed of 21.8 megabits per second. Connected to a PIA server in Australia, we were able to get a download speed of 218 megabits per second and an upload speed of 10.1 megabits per second. And then when connected to a PIA server in the UK, we were able to get a download speed of 201 megabits per second and an upload speed of 10.6 megabits per second. 
Generally in our tests, some servers like in New York, for example, showed a greater drop in download speeds, but not as much in upload speeds. Whereas some servers like Australia, for example, showed a very minor drop in download speeds, but a more significant drop in upload speeds. So quite variable overall with the results. How much does private internet access cost? PIA is one of the most budget-friendly VPNs out there if you go for the long-term plan. At the time of this video, the two-year plan averages out to $2.19 a month. The six-month plan averages out to $7.50 a month. And the monthly plan, that's a lot more at $11.99 a month. As with most VPN providers, the longer that you sign up for, the cheaper it's going to be. So let's wrap it up. What are the pros and cons of private internet access? For pros, PIA's apps are fully open source, so anyone can inspect the code for privacy and security. It's also one of the most affordable VPNs out there, especially when you sign up for a long-term plan, you can get that average monthly cost down to $2.19 a month. And then you get unlimited simultaneous connections with PIA, so the whole family will be protected. Potential cons with PIA, they only have servers in 91 countries, which is fewer than some of the competitors like NordVPN, and only 11 of those locations are optimized for streaming. So if there's a specific country that you're looking to have access to, you're going to want to make sure that it's on the list before subscribing. Still deciding on a VPN? Click here to watch our video on the top VPNs.